I definitely say embrace it. Try and find other people like yourself. Hi, my name's Peter. Um, I was diagnosed at 15 and now I'm 23. My experience after diagnosis, it was, I don't think there was much to it because my, I think my parents sort of already suspected, well, that they already suspected that I was on the autistic spectrum. So they'd already felt, they, they'd felt this way for a long, they, they felt that that was the case well for, for a long time. I knew I was always different. So I knew I was never like any of the other children. So it wasn't, it didn't come as much of a shock or surprise. So as soon as I got my diagnosis, I, okay, that's fine. Well, not fine, but, but yeah, I knew I was different. Just kind of come, just more of a confirmation that I was different, really. As opposed to, I, I know for some young people, maybe more of a shock getting that autism diagnosis. If you're diagnosed quite late, people were, were probably going to get a lot of questions, but I know I did. It's like a lot of surprise questions, like, well, you don't seem autistic, you don't look autistic, those kinds of things like that. So... In terms of coming to terms with your identity, I'm, I think for me, when I got diagnosed, as I've said, it, it didn't change much for me. But so don't look at autism as being essentially changing everything. It, it doesn't really, because you were born with autism. It's just that now it's been recognized by the world that you are autistic. So don't see it as changing who you are. or And, and it shouldn't change how people perceive you. So if, if it if it does, then you can definitely use it as an opportunity to try and educate those around you about autism. Don't see it as a, as a complete change of identity because you, you are who you are, really. So look at the autism as um, understanding your identity a little bit better as opposed to changing it completely. What helped me to understand autism a bit more is just independently finding more about autism. I guess it just it kind of helped me to accept myself really so it was like okay I think it's easier a lot easier to accept the diagnosis when I was feeling uh, I was more confident in myself at the time so yeah I guess I guess yeah I think those things started to yeah things started to improve when I was able to accept myself for who I was really I definitely say it's nothing to there's nothing to worry about. Um, I, I think there needs to be definitely a little bit more guidance as to where you can go. Um, I think definitely if you try and seek try and seek out um, other well organisations, um, try and encounter other autistic people because I think I'm definitely if you've got a diagnosis quite late, I think your idea well, well I know in my case at least your idea of autism can be kind of like, like be stereotypical from what you've seen, like media and things like that. Whereas I knew that I didn't fit the media portrayal, but at the same time I was able to accept it because at the same time I knew I was um, different. So, so that was it. I was able to accept it, but didn't quite fully understand it. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say embrace it. Um, try try and seek out other people try and find other people like yourself and uh, yeah be confident to be able to yeah d I mean d definitely be a bit more open about it because I know if you feel comfortable that, that is, don't, don't be afraid to be open about it because I think you can definitely use it as an opportunity to well actually teach people what is autism from your own uh, from your own experience I think finding other autistic people. So I remember quite a few years back, um, I ended up, my mum took me to see uh, this person who's autistic and he was talking about his life experience. So I understood a little bit from that. I think I've probably learned a lot more in the past year or so, like getting involved with the Ambitious Projects and things like that. So I've kind of got to understand a lot more about autism and how it, how it affects people and seeing what's similar, what's different, so I didn't really have anything, I don't know, I guess to compare it to, really, or kind of not really understanding, like, what, what is autism? What, what is just me as well as a human, as a, as a person?